kind of getting RV fever again. So I figure I'll get out and about and just check out Pelosa South, South Pelosa, and a few other areas down there I saw in the videos I've been watching lately. Uh, today is Tuesday the 16th of January. And so I'm gonna be tooling out here and just get an overall view of the place where we're gonna be camping next. So I'm gonna keep you posted. Headed over to the River Tramp Rendezvous here in Quartzsite. Today's Friday. Excuse me, today's Thursday. And uh, I'm not quite sure what time it opens. I think it's at 10 o'clock right now. It's at 9.37. Uh, don't look like there's too many people here already. Uh, kind of hard to see. I guess everybody's done with this place now. I'm not sure where to go to park. Uh, looks like people are parking over here. this and what's fact versus reality you know we're gonna kind of break all that down for you and, and talk about sometimes some of the less glamorous life of living on the road and things that you don't see on Instagram so if it's your first year or you're just getting started it's gonna be a really interesting session for you on that we'll have some live music and we're gonna wrap up the day with some music bingo so instead of calling out basic numbers and letters and all that other kind of stuff we've got some rock and roll music going on there's gonna be bingo and it's gonna be a fun and a ton of fun so going back to what we talked about with our community, if you have met some people around and you're just trying to figure out, hey, what do we want to do? Give them a call, give them a text and say, hey, let's meet back here today at three o'clock for Music Bingo, because that's going to be a tough. All right, I'm leaving the RTR here at Quartzsite. I listened to the question and answer session. It's pretty informative, actually. I was surprised by what I learned. Not because I just remember it. <laughs> Uh, I think the next stop, I think, is going to check out the La Posa South and see, you know, how that is. And then I'll probably head back to the RV or maybe drop by the big tent to see some of the vendors out there. I hate going broke, but, you know, I gotta have something to do. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Okay, we just uh, entered La Posa West. I thought it was north, but... It, uh, it's not. North is on the other side of the road over there. And as you can see, there's plenty of parking places to go. Things to do here. Yeah. I'll take the left side here. Some people already got some of the 
cargo spots. I'm not sure. There's any party in yet. I mean, it is Tuesday. big tent area where the RV show is going to be. That's it right there. That thing is huge. I didn't want to be one. Tell me a little bit about when poetry... Uh, I'm in one of the LTVAs here. I think it's, it's supposed to be La Posa South according to my uh, Siri directions, but it turns out the sign in front was La Posa North. Uh, which is across the street from the post at West, which is where I was the other day. Uh, so I figured as long as I'm here, I might as well check out this side of the road. Dusty road ahead. Directions to where? And uh, as you can see, there's plenty of space out here. There's also plenty of RVers. I'm going to be roughing it for the next, I guess, four or five months. And quartzite. I'll probably get to know the place very, very well, and you'll probably get sick of my videos uh, saying the same thing basically over and over again. I'll try to make them entertaining, but no guarantees there. Uh, pretty soon I'll be off the paved road here. Whatever kind of road it is, it's not asphalt, it's something else. Well, that's going to be fun with the RV. Probably even more fun when it's uh, raining. They do love to pile the rocks. Is that something to say? Uh, I don't know. There's the dump stations. Well, the dumpster, I should say. Some people know how to do it. The windows are dirty, sorry about that. All the dust. There's a good solar unit right there. One of the older RVs. That's a stream. What any? Air stream. Some people got satellite. Some people got Starlink. see any partiers though. Mostly solo camping. Alright, I'm running out of road. And this is the part where I gotta drive. <sighs> okay, this is La Posa South. It's about 1.6 miles past La Posa North, which I was just at. And uh Pretty much the same stuff. <sighs> okay. No parking anytime. There we go. And there's one of the vaulted bathrooms. You know, my main interest in, in uh, parking in an LTVA through April, at least, is uh, to see how my rig will do. Mm -hmm. There is no civilization left. I'm just saying that. But uh, 
There's somebody got Lux flags. I wasn't here the other day. Huh. Uh, there's plenty of places to park. Plenty of RVs parked there. Anyway, this, this is pretty much what it looks like. So I'm just here to figure out if I'm going to stay. Um, trying to figure out where I'm going to stay here or down at north. La Posa. Uh, and when I, uh, this all right, I'm probably by tomorrow, we'll be leaving the queue view. This is where I'm parked at now. And I can't wait to start the next leg of the journey here. Our RV. Yeah, I was down at the uh, R2R this morning. They did a little Q and answer, Q and A. And I, I did learn a lot. I guess I already said that, but I did learn a lot. I didn't know, but I thought I knew. I guess I better understand the uh, difficulties and the, the fun that you can have. Pros and cons, I should say. Of, roughing it even though you're not actually roughing it if you have full solar and the only problem is I'll have to dump every three days and they do have dumping stations here I'm told and uh, they have vaulted bathrooms so my son can have a place to well do his business and, uh, he's supposed to go down to his new job place where he's working at get, get his uniform that sort of thing, and I, I'm kind of wondering how he's going to get around because he ain't got no bicycle. He ain't got no bike. Poor English. So I'm going to shut it down for now. And I'll keep you posted on what I decide to do here, south or north. Well, I guess we're over here at the RV tent show. It's about to start in 30 minutes, and our ears are lined to park. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, we can find a spot. Feel pretty confident. A little bit early, but you know, it are what it are. Besides, I'm going to go What the hell am I going to do all day? Oh. Wow, there's too many people here. Just too many people. They got a place over there called Celerama. Huh? There's a vendor's area over there. Celerama is what they call it. That's where we're going to go next. That's not where we came in, is it? They, uh, no, we came in where the office was. Oh. Well, I guess we're done.
just going to get some of that. You don't want to do that. That's hard work. Enjoying the sundown, huh? I'll sit out my window if you will. I'm here at my post of the north and I'm enjoying a sunset, you and we. Having a picturesque day and I uh, kind of enjoyed everything I'm about. I mean, solar's working. I'm off the grid. Here at the place in North. Oh my gosh. Is there anything better than this? Wow. Can I be anything better than this? I'll be in a super door when I'm gone. There we go. Tomorrow. Everything that I got is just Holy crap. Uh, when the sun is high, I imagine a lot in life about what we go on. Crap. I'm a real by morning. The beautiful music here. Uh, And I've seen a lot these past few days. I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to see a lot more in these next few days. And I'll try and bring you along, but. Don't judge. My nephew Brian, if you're hearing me, if you see this, I'm sorry for your situation. Well, let me put it a different way. I hope your situation improves. <sighs> My sister, my brother-in-law. I 
I guess I got a lot in common with my brother-in-law. Andy, I'm I'm watching this, I understand I'm your situation. I'm going to show you something. In the skies, over there is a, a contrail. Over here is a chemtrail. You can see the difference. Let me know what you think about it. Chemtrail or contrail? It's the same sky. It's the same sky. I'm in uh, Posa North trying to figure out life. Actually, no. Experiencing life. <laughs> So many challenges ahead of me. I'm not a liar to every damn one of them. What a day. What a fucking day. I was invited to a concert tonight with almost Willie. You know, I've never actually heard him sing, but I've heard of him. I heard he's pretty good. For those of you who are watching, this is you can't get any better than this. Uh, my in-laws were still my in-laws, obviously. Live in Alaska. They run a great business, Alaskan Industries. And they rub it in our faces every day. My daughter is there. She got a good job at the hospital. Not talking to me, but her grandkids are. My grandkids, which is my grandkids are. Got a call from Gavin the other day. It was really, really, uh, really sorry. Trying to keep it. In focus. Really? Okay. Kind of a downer. That's an awesome song. You know, you gotta wonder at the artists that created these songs. And how they came up with this lyrics. I'm not, I've come to the conclusion that they were inspired by something beyond the normal. 
as we so often are in it. And I'm inspired beyond a normal right now. Here's my surroundings. Fellow campers who have experienced the same thing I'm experiencing right now. Wow. Sure. Don't judge. Do not judge. Oh! <laughs> Drop my phone. Thomas is going. Come uh, here. Hmm. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Is it the world or the words of silence? i